Hello everyone, welcome to Manikandan Academy. In this video, let us look at self-finance private medical colleges in Tamil Nadu, its seat distribution and possible predictions for this year. So let's get started. Now, let us look at self-financing private medical colleges in Tamil Nadu and its intake. So here the first one we have Annapurna Medical College and Hospital, Salem District. The intake is 150. Next, Arunai Medical College and Hospital, Mathur, Tiru Annamalai. Here as well the intake is 150. Likewise, you can see the other colleges in Tamil Nadu. So, total there are 26 private colleges including 3 private universities. Those are Dhanalakshmi Srinivasan, Srinivasan Medical College and Sri Venkateshwara Medical College. So, in all the total private seats are 4100. Next, let us look at seat distribution. So, here there are total private colleges in Tamil Nadu 26 and total number of seats available are 4100. There is no All India quota. Hence, all the seats are under state quota itself. Coming to private colleges, there are two types of private colleges. One is private non-minority and private minority. Let us look at private non-minority. Here, the total number of seats available are 2150. Here, for state government, the reservation is 65%. As per that, the total seats available is 1397. Under management quota, it is 20%. So, the seats available are 430. For NRI, 15% accordingly, there are 323 seats. Coming to private minority, the total number of seats available is 1950. Under state government, 50% is the reservation. So, likewise, 975 are the seats available. Coming to minority, 35% is the reservation. Seats availability is 683. For NRI, reservation is 15% and the seats available is 292. Next, let us look at special allocation for state government quota self-finance. Here, under 92.5% general quota, including both minority and non-minority, the total number of seats available is 2194. And under 7.5% government school students quota, including both minority and non-minority, the total number of seats available is 178. Now, let us look at category-wise seat distribution for both 92.5% and 7.5% quota. Here, coming to 92.5% quota, the total number of seats available is 2194. Let us look for the first one, that is OC category. The reservation is 31% and the number of seats available are 680. Coming to BCM category, the reservation is 3.5%. And the number of seats available are 77. Likewise, let us see 7.5% government school quota. The overall seats available here is 178. For OC category, as per the reservation of 31%, the number of seats available are 55. And for BCM, as per the reservation of 3.5%, the number of seats available are 6. Now, let us look into BCM category and see how the seat allocation will happen at the time of counselling. Coming to the first one, that is 92.5% quota. As we have seen for OC category, the reservation is 31% and the number of seats available are 680. Likewise, for BCM category, as per the reservation, the number of seats available here is 77. Now, let us suppose that within this 680, there are around 5 BCM candidates who have got the seat through OC category. They will get the seat, but there will be an impact on the ranking of BCM, wherein it will extend by this 5, making it available at 82. Likewise, now let us look for 7.5% quota. As per the reservation for OC, the number of seats available are 55. And for BCM, the number of seats available is 6. Now, let us suppose that within this 55, if there is one BCM candidate who has got the seat through OC category, he will get the seat, but there will be an impact on the ranking of BCM, wherein it will extend by this one, making it available at 7. So, this is something which one has to understand how the scenario would be at the time of counselling. Hello everyone, this is Tikshita, currently studying second year MBBS in Government Medical College, Nagapatnam. The big part of my searches towards this field is all because of Manikandan Academy. And of course, without SKR sir, my journey in this field would have been nothing. 
He gave me personal guidance and assistance and oh me this precious course. The teachers out there are just awesome. They were so friendly with us and corrected our errors without giving any hesitation and as soon as possible. And yeah, finally, I thank every teacher who supported me during this journey. Thank you. Next, let us look into possible predictions for both 92.5% and 7.5% state government quota self finance. Now here, coming to 92.5% quota, for the first one OC category, in the year 2023, the cutoff was 519. In the year 2024, it was 606. If we take the average of both the years, the average is 563 and the percentage is 78.1. Now, this year we know that there were around 30 questions which were of abnormal difficulty level. Now, even if we consider 25 and assuming 155 questions, the total marks will be somewhere around 620. So, with the same percentage but for the total of 620, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 484 plus or minus 10. Likewise, now let us look for BCM category. In the year 2023, the cutoff was 488. In the year 2024, it was 578. The average of both the years is 533 and the percentage is 74. Now, with the same percentage, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 459 plus or minus 10. Likewise, let us look for 7.5% quota. For the first one, OC category, in the year 2023, the cutoff was 490. In the year 2024, it was 524. Average of both the years comes to 507. Percentage is 70%. So, for this year with the same percentage, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 437 plus or minus 10. Now, let us look for BCM category. In the year 2023, the cutoff was 454. In the year 2024, it was 486. Average of both the years is 470. Percentage is 65. So, with the same percentage, we can predict the cutoff somewhere to be around 405 plus or minus 10. So, this was just a prediction from our end. You can consider plus or minus 10 in this. It was a small effort from our end to reduce your stress level. For more information about other categories, follow our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.